Imagine being faced with a flagrant show of disrespect, a direct verbal assault meant to rattle you. Your heart races, your face grows hot, and you feel the urge to lash out in anger. But then you remember that you're the master of your own destiny, sailing through life's storms with the guidance of Stoicism. This timeless philosophy reminds you that disrespect isn't a personal attack, but rather a test of your character. You decide not to let the opinion of others sway you like a leaf in the wind. Instead, you stand firm. In this philosophical view, disrespect reveals more about the character of the person showing it, rather than diminishing your own worth. By embracing Stoicism, you'll learn to confront disrespect with a level head and emerge from such encounters with your dignity preserved and your emotions unruffled. In this video, we will learn how to handle disrespect. By the end of the video, you'll not only have the tools to face disrespect with the composed detachment of a seasoned Stoic, but also the ability to navigate these encounters in a way that leaves your dignity untouched and your emotions unscathed. Disrespect can come in many forms, from hurtful comments and criticism to dismissive behavior and betrayal. It can be tempting to react with anger, frustration, or sadness, but as Stoics, we aim to cultivate inner strength and resilience in the face of adversity. So how can we handle disrespect without losing our cool? First, let's talk about maintaining inner peace. The Stoics believed that our emotions are not determined by external events, but by our interpretation of those events. When someone shows disrespect, it's essential to remember that their behavior is a reflection of their own thoughts, feelings, and judgments, not an objective assessment of your worth. Think about it this way. If someone calls you a name, it doesn't define who you are as a person. Their words simply reflect their own character and biases. By recognizing this, you can avoid letting their disrespect disturb your emotional equilibrium. As Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Instead of internalizing other people's negativity, focus on your own thoughts, beliefs, and values. Remember that you have control over your own mindset and actions, and that no one can take away your dignity or self-worth unless you allow them to. Second, practice self-reflection. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Stoicism encourages us to engage in introspection and self-examination. When faced with disrespect, ask yourself questions like, is there any truth in what the person said or did? Are they pointing out something that you could improve on or work on? Did my own actions or words contribute to this situation? Could you have handled things differently to prevent the disrespect from happening? How can I respond in a way that aligns with my values and virtues? What would be the most constructive and respectful way to address the issue? By examining your reactions and the situation objectively, you can gain a better understanding of the event and your own role in it. This introspection allows you to respond more thoughtfully and constructively to disrespect. You might even discover opportunities for personal growth and improvement. Remember, Self-reflection isn't about beating yourself up over mistakes or perceived shortcomings. Rather, it's about taking responsibility for your actions and learning from every experience. As Seneca wrote, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. By confronting your fears, doubts, and negative thoughts, you can develop greater mental toughness and resilience. Third, don't react impulsively. When someone is being disrespectful, it's natural to feel angry or upset. But, as a Stoic, you'll want to avoid reacting impulsively to those emotions. Impulsive reactions are often driven by our immediate feelings rather than careful consideration of the situation and our values. They can lead us to say or do things we later regret, damage relationships, and create unnecessary conflict. Instead of reacting impulsively, take a moment to pause and gather your thoughts before responding. This pause can be as short as a few deep breaths or a brief mental check-in. The goal is to give yourself enough time to consider your response carefully, rather than simply reacting based on your initial emotions. During this pause, ask yourself some questions to help guide your response. 
What are my goals in this situation? Are they aligned with my values and principles? What are the potential consequences of my response? Will it escalate the situation or resolve it peacefully? Is there a way to respond that maintains my dignity and self-respect while also addressing the issue at hand? Am I reacting based on assumptions or facts? Have I taken the time to fully understand the situation? Remember, as a Stoic, you strive to live in accordance with reason and virtue. Impulsive reactions are often driven by emotions rather than reason and can lead you away from your values and principles. By taking a moment to pause and reflect, you can ensure that your response is guided by wisdom and self-control rather than raw emotion. Number four, practice empathy. When someone is being disrespectful, it's easy to get caught up in our own emotions and forget that the other person is human too. But, as a Stoic, you'll want to cultivate empathy and try to understand where the other person is coming from. Empathy is the ability to imagine oneself in another person's position and share their feelings. It's not always easy, especially when someone is behaving in a way that's hurtful or frustrating. But it's a crucial step in building stronger relationships and resolving conflicts. Here are a few tips for practicing empathy when someone is being disrespectful. Listen actively. When the other person is speaking, make eye contact, nod your head, and ask open-ended questions to show that you're engaged and interested in what they have to say. Avoid interrupting or dismissing their concerns. Put yourself in their shoes. Imagine how the other person might be feeling and what might be driving their behavior. Ask yourself, what would I do if I were in their situation? Avoid assumptions. Don't assume you know what the other person is thinking or feeling. Instead, ask them to share their perspective and listen carefully to their response. Show understanding. Reflect back what you've heard the other person say and acknowledge their emotions. For example, you might say, I understand that you're feeling frustrated right now. Can you tell me more about what's going on? Seek common ground. Look for areas of agreement and shared values. This can help you build trust and find ways to work together towards a solution. By practicing empathy, you'll respond to disrespectful behavior with more patience and compassion. You'll also gain insight into why the other person might be acting out, which can help you address the root cause of the problem. For example, let's say a coworker is being rude and dismissive during a meeting. Instead of getting defensive or angry, try putting yourself in their shoes. Maybe they're under a lot of pressure from their supervisor or struggling with personal issues outside of work. By showing empathy and asking questions, you might uncover the underlying reasons for their behavior and find a way to address them together. Lastly, the most essential step, set boundaries. Setting boundaries is a crucial aspect of maintaining healthy relationships and protecting your own well-being. When someone is being disrespectful, it's important to clearly communicate your expectations for how you want to be treated. By setting boundaries, you can establish a clear understanding of what behavior is and is not acceptable and prevent misunderstandings and conflict. Here are some tips for setting boundaries in a way that is clear, firm and respectful. Be specific. Clearly state what behavior is and is not acceptable. Avoid generalizations or vague requests. Instead, focus on specific behaviors that you find unacceptable, such as name-calling, personal attacks, or condescending language. For example, I don't appreciate it when you use sarcasm to make a point. It makes me feel belittled and disrespected. Use I statements. Start your boundary statement with I to emphasize your own feelings and needs. This helps to avoid blaming or accusing the other person, which can escalate conflict. For example, I feel disrespected when you use that kind of language. I need you to speak to me with respect. This approach also helps to take the focus off the other person's behavior and puts the focus on your own emotions and needs. Be firm. Set boundaries with confidence and conviction. Avoid hesitation or apologies for having to set boundaries. Remember that you have the right to determine how you want to be treated. Don't compromise on your values and standards. For example, I understand that you may not agree with my perspective, but I expect you to listen to me without interrupting or dismissing my views. 
Thank you for joining us today. If you watched this video till the end, don't forget to comment, I will rise.